anxiety that was lifted uh, from off of me. Like, I had no more anxiety problems. I started uh, taking more control over my mind, and I started replacing all of that worry and those negative thoughts with positive thoughts. And the things that I actually wanted in life, I started manifesting those things. Because I'm going to tell you something. I grew up, I wasn't fortunate. You know, I was, I, was, I was one of those people that, you know, had to get it from my bottle of the mud. Let me tell you something. I didn't even, we didn't even have hot water. We didn't even have access to hot water. <laughs> Let me tell you how we used to have to take our baths. We used to have to boil the water on the stove. Exactly. We used to have to boil the water on the stove. Let me tell you something. It's my struggle. The struggle. The, the way that I saw how life used to be for us as kids and as young uh, teenagers, it's my struggle that made me want to have the things that I have and go as hard as I'm going. Because if I had not went through that or had I been born with a silver spoon in my mouth, then I probably wouldn't uh, be as ambitious as I am. And, you know, uh, I don't know, just, just I have so much fire inside of me. And I am a Leo, so... You know, obviously, obviously, I'm going to have that ambitious, uh, you know, uh, about myself. But like I'm saying, I didn't grow up having all of those nice things. You know, I used to look at kids celebrating Christmas, you know, because my mom was a Jehovah's Witness. And, you know, they don't celebrate holidays. And, you know, we didn't get anything for Christmas. And that was a bad feeling. But, uh, however... I've healed. I've faced my shadow side. All of the things that I used to suppress, I looked that shadow in my face. And I don't worry about those things. Because, see, those things had to happen. Everything happens for a reason. I had the hard life that I had for a reason. You have the hard life that you have for a reason. When life throws you lemons, what you gonna do? Make lemonade. Okay? So, embrace the things, embrace your struggles because your struggles can lead you to success. However, yes, your struggle, stop worrying, receive abundance. Just know that success is definitely within your future. It's definitely within your reach, you know. And I know that, you know, right now I'm the most successful I've ever been because I'm consistent with the help of my spirit, guys, with the help of the universe, the divine, the source. I'm very uh, stable uh, and stuff like that. I have, like I said, control over my thinking. So let's put this card down because you, you can kiss that anxiety. Bye-bye. Okay? We're not going to be, uh, you know what I'm saying, suffocated with anxiety and negative thoughts. Okay? Now, you got to learn how to have patience. It might not happen tomorrow, and it might not happen the next day. But just know that the universe is working for you. Things are happening for you. It's not happening to you. It's happening for you. So learn how to have patience because everything happens within a what? Divine timing. And, honey, when I was little, I used to imagine how my life would be. And, yeah, I went through the storm. I went through that storm. But you know what? At the end of the day, my mind is back where it used to be when I was a little kid, looking up in the star, looking up in the sky at the stars, you know, wondering and imagining how my life would be as an adult. And now I'm going to say that with the help of my spirit guides, okay, you know the rest. <laughs> and with the help of your spirit guides, you can manifest the life that you, you know, the life that you want, the life that you are right now dreaming of, okay? You can have that and some, okay?